if you um, put your input into Flare, it expects a certain unit system. So for example, the standard units that you should use for defining a momentum is GeV over C. But what if, if you have a beam with a momentum of 1 MeV over C? You don't have to type 0 0.001. There is another way to do it that's easier and um, it's also better for avoiding mistakes. You just type equals the number that you want, for example 1 MeV, so 1 times and then MeV. If we click out of the card and back in, you can see that now this 1 MeV Fluka automatically calculates into the unit system that it's expecting. So it's expecting the value in GeV. I'm giving 1 MeV, so I'm having 1 MeV is 0.001 GeV. This also works if, for example, I just want to have 1 electron volt. And this is 10 to the minus 9 GeV, or 1 kilo electron volt, which is 10 to the minus 6 GeV. Another possibility is to use instead of electron volts, joule. So one joule is six two four one five zero nine seven five two GeV. It's also possible to use this trick when putting in distances. For example, the standard distance that um, fluke, uh, flare expects for the beam position in X is centimeters. But I can also just simply type equals 5 times millimeter. And flare can detect it and convert it. Or even 5 micrometer. If you prefer inch or feet, you can also type in inch. Or feet. The same thing works for time. The standard input for flare is seconds, but if I, for example, want to give it in years, I can simply type equals one time year. And Flare will automatically convert it, and you don't have to do it. For an angle, the standard input here would be, for example, millirad, but I can also give the values in degrees. There are many more options, and you can look them up in the Flare manual.